This video will be all about assigning cis and trans isomers as well as fac and mer isomers. These are the nomenclature used to describe the positions of atoms relative to each other in a molecule. This naming system is commonly used in inorganic chemistry but it can be used in organic chemistry too. Let's start with cis and trans. Cis, in basic terms, means same face. Whereas trans means opposite face. This will become clearer as we look at examples. Cis and trans can be used in organic chemistry to describe substituents on cyclic compounds. So here is an example of a cyclic compound with two substituents, X. Looking at the first isomer, you can see that the X substituents are both facing upwards. This looks like this. Whereas on the second one, we have one X facing upwards and one X facing downwards. This looks like this this to see it better. We would name these as cis and trans as this one has both x's above the ring and this has one above and one below i.e. on the opposite faces. In inorganic chemistry cis and trans is used to assign the substituents on square planar complexes as well as octahedral complexes. These are examples of a square planar complex. On the first one we can see that we have two x's away from us and the y's are pointing towards us. This looks like this. Whereas the other isomer shows one x pointing forwards and one x pointing back and same for the y. This looks something like this. Because the x's are on the same face and the y's are on the same face, we would label this as cis. Whereas for the second one, Neither of the substituents are on the same face as each other, therefore they are trans. Next we can look at the octahedral complex that has 4x substituents and 2y. In the first one here, we can see looking at the model that the 2y substituents are on the same face. Looking at the second isomer we can see that the two y substituents are not on the same face. One is above and one is below. We can label these as cis and trans. Now let's look at fac and mer isomers. In simple terms, fac means facial and mer equals meridional. Again, this will become clear as we look at an example. Fac and mer is commonly used in inorganic chemistry to describe octahedral complexes that have three substituents. Looking at the examples, we can see this isomer has three x's here and three y's there. And this is how it looks 
in 3D. Looking at the 3D model, we can see that the three X's are all on this face and the three Y's are all on this face along the bottom. Therefore, this is known as the FAC isomer. We can now look at this isomer where we will see two X's here and one down here and two Y's here and one across here. In 3D, that will look something like this. As you can see, they are no longer on the same face, but instead, all the X's are on this plane, crossing through the metal, and rotating, we can see that all the Y's are on this plane, crossing through the metal. This allows us to label this isomer as the mer. To summarise, we can give a few brief definitions of cis, trans, fac and mer. Cis basically means same face, whereas trans is the opposite face. And fac is facial, which means same face. And mer is meridional, which is different face, however, same plane. And a tip to remember is that cis and trans are commonly used for two substituents and fac and mer are used for three substituents.